All right, here we are headed to the track for the Four Star Dave Handicap. This is the Breeders' Cup winner for the Turf Mile at uh, Saratoga. Gentlemen, one of our favorite races of the year is Saratoga. Aaron, I'll go with you. Regal Glory, one to two. We all loved her to win this race, but is she playable at those odds? No, I mean, she's not playable with a straight ticket. I mean, obviously, you you, you love her. You try to get her in an exacta with the one. I think Casa Creed play a 3-1 straight. Uh, even if you wanted to play the two Browns in a 3-4 straight exacta, that wouldn't be too bad either. Uh, but, no, you can't play her straight on a win here. And, you know, the the odds are, man, she just really got pounded. Uh, Mike Samich, you were really great at uh, doing exactly what Aaron said. Is you, you key a big favorite on top and you place them underneath. You're a big Casa Creed fan. Are you going to go straight 3-1 exacta? I actually went straight 3-1-4 try. I, I didn't even mess around with the exacta. If I was going to play an exacta, it would be 3-1. But I think the 4 is clearly better than the 1 or the 5. Um, so I, I think these are clearly the best three horses. I'm just going to try and put them in the correct order and hope I can get somewhere in the 9 or 10-1 to 1 range for being right. It's an exciting race. Uh, we've seen uh, – I got Stormy's won this race twice, so we know that the girls can beat the boys. Uh, Regal Glory, it's, it's done nothing wrong. She's so awesome. Uh, here we go in the gate. It's exciting. We'll see what Regal Glory can do. you got to love Casa Creed in here for the third time in a row in this race, too. He's uh, run third twice. Let's see if he can improve that position today. They sent Mason hard. But get smoking. Well, want to make get sure get smoking hard. doesn't get too easy of a lead out there. Yeah. Uh, Regal Glory sits third. Uh, I, a little bit closer than normal, right? I thought Casa Creed and Regal Gore would be in opposite spots, to be honest with you. Casa Creed has, has been a little closer to the pace the last two years in this race, especially coming out of sprints. That's what I felt as well. I thought they would flip-flop. I mean, nobody's in a real bad spot, though. No. Well, it, it, you know, if, if Casa Creed sat closer the last two years and got third, you know, let's try tactics a little differently, see if we can change up. He's a horse that isn't stellar at two turns. He's so lethal at one, but the two turn is still in question here. Uh, 24 flat, if we can even trust these fractions, that might actually be believable. Uh, the way they're going, Rio Glory is raging up, and it looks like she's ready to go whenever Jose lets her. Yeah, not not super fast there for the opening quarter or half mile, going 47 yeah. and uh, four there for the half mile. So a little bit slower fractions, but everyone's close enough that it's really just going to be the best horse wins here, which I think we all believe is going to be Rio Glory once she kicks it in. I tell you what, all three of these main horses look loaded. I think we may see a pretty cool stretch run here. Although, good Lord, Regal Glory is already making that move, and she does look good. But here comes Mason, too, right in front of her. Uh, Casa Creed ranging up on the outside as well. Let's see if we anyone can run down this five here in the stretch. Is got smoking, trying to open up a little bit. Come on, Regal. Get her going. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Oh, boy, Casa Creed's year. Casa Creed. It's here Casa Creed's year, baby. There it is. He switched up tactics and got it. Wow. Wow. Good for Casa Creed, man. Yeah. Wow. Bill what Mott. Horse. Oh. Gotta love that he's able to get one done there. And it, it like you mentioned, Magic switched up the tactics there. 134 and one. That is racehorse time for a mile after they go 48 to the half as well. So came home in 46 seconds there, and he passed them all. What a cool racehorse this is. I mean, we've been covering this horse for four years now, Magic, I think it is. Yep. And to see him get a grade one like this going two turns, which isn't his game anymore. The first time we saw him win was at two turns down at Gulfstream in 2019. Now here we are, 2022. He's getting it done in a grade one at Saratoga. Pretty awesome. Look at this. Yeah. Never change leads. Wow. I mean, that, that's fantastic. And, you know, it was Regal Glory, it looked like she was getting ready to kind of fade back almost. And Casa Creed went by, and she's like, oh, wait a second, no, and reengaged <laughs> and got second. Mm -hmm. That was really fun to watch. It's interesting to wonder if if the tactics were switched, would, would Regal Glory have run differently? Because she definitely seemed like – I'm not sure anyone beats Casa Creed on this day, but she definitely seemed like she was worried about the horses who were inside – and not the one to all the way to the outside there until it was a little too late. She's not used to having horses on her outside in the stretch. She's usually the one on the outside passing. Uh, man, so cool. But Mike, we've been covering this horse since he won. Uh, it was the Kittens Joy Stakes in January 2019. <laughs> That's when we first started talking about him. The first time he touched turf, we covered this horse. That was that was the angle that we got to him at 14 to 1 that day. It was his first time Jimmy Creed turf. And now, you know, Three years later to see this horse like win a grade one, it's, it's phenomenal to watch. Well, multiple grade ones, right? He's got the Jiper, but now it's a grade one at two turns, which was the big question mark for him. So, all right. Uh, they, Bill Mott had already said that if they go to the Breeders' Cup with this horse, the, the turf sprint's going to be too short for him. So, he's got the mile berth now. I guess we've seen what he can do at two turns. Mike, do you feel confident about him or more confident about him going two turns in the mile now? 
Ah, why not? Let's run him, baby. Let's see what happens, right? He's not the best turf miler in the world, but you know what? He beat some darn good turf milers today. So I, I'm not going to take anything away from him in that sense. And, and you got the berth now. You might as well take the shot. S- same for you, Aaron? It's, he's just one of those horses. He's really good, but when he gets to that level, he's just never going to look real great against some of those horses that are going to come over. But look, this has been a very productive uh, prep race in the past for the Breeders' Cup. How can you say one negative thing about what he just did, right? I mean, just ran a such a good race. I'm so happy, even though, you know, our bets lost in this situation. I'm really happy for Casa Creed because this is a true racehorse. He is a throwback, man. And now he's pissed. Look at him. But he's a throwback. He's just <laughs> like, hey, I'll, uh, I, I, you know, whatever. Whatever you ask me to do, I'll do it. I'll keep running over and over and over every year. I love him. I, I don't think he's going to win the Breeders' Cup, but I don't really care right now. <laughs> Well, and no shade at Junior Alvarado is Bill Mott's normal go-to rider, but Luis Saez took over back in, uh, actually back in Saudi Arabia back in February when the horse lost by a neck in a big race and has been riding ever since. He wins the Jaipur for the second straight year last time out. Now Luis Saez aboard again. I think Saez is, is a difference maker for this horse. He tried the Keeneland Breeders' Cup mile two years ago and was 12th of 14, never really looked very good in it. But uh, you can trust Bill Mott to have this horse ready. You can trust Luis Saez to make the right decisions. Final thoughts. Uh, let me ask you guys this too. Regal Glory, we both loved her. Do you continue to the Breeders' Cup mile with her, knowing that she does love Keeneland? Yeah. I would. Yeah, easy question. <laughs> easy to answer there. Uh, she won the Jenny Wiley there earlier this year. She just missed in the First Lady. She's uh, been very phenomenal at Keeneland before. So love to see her show up there. What do you think? Let us know in the comments below. Uh, Mason, you know, we thought he was a little bit of a cup below, and I think it might have uh, shown a little bit here. But let us know your thoughts below. Hit like before you leave. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. And, of course, visit racingnews.com for free picks every race, every day, every track across the country. We'll see you at the track.